What's up freaks? Are you having trouble getting your gecko to eat insects? Do they need their gains? Well, watch this and find out how to get them to eat their bugs. I will start off by saying that most of the New Caledonian geckos, they don't need to eat insects in order to grow and live a happy and healthy life, but when you feed insects or bugs, it's going to add that extra protein and those extra fats that they need to grow a lot quicker and most of the time a lot bigger. So we generally recommend you to feed insects at least once a week, especially for babies and juvenile geckos. And when they're adults, sometimes they could slow down on their insect eating, but they're not gonna need the extra protein at that size, so you could feed around once a month. Of course, every individual gecko is different. I have some adults that will eat bugs every single time I feed it to them, and then some adults that will never even look at a cricket. As a matter of fact, some adults that are scared of crickets. But that's why you have to gauge your gecko and see where your gecko really lies in the spectrum of bug eating and see how much bugs you're gonna have to feed them. With that being said, if you are breeding your geckos, then I would recommend feeding insects once a week or once every two weeks just to keep the females nice and fat for the breeding season. Juveniles, when they're growing up, will be asking for a lot more protein and fats, so they'll be in this cricket crazy stage where they're just like looking at everything that turns to them and they basically try to bite you if you put their finger in the cage. So if you see that, that usually means that the gecko is ready to get some more protein in it and you're gonna need to feed a lot more protein. Another quick tip is if you're keeping a bunch of babies together, you know, like three or four babies or juveniles in a cage, if you're not feeding bugs, sometimes these babies can nip on each other's tails and that's how they're gonna get their extra protein. So I always recommend to be consistent with the schedule of bug feeding when you have babies or juveniles together. What happens if you don't is you're gonna start getting nip tails or frog butts. Now, one of the best tricks I use to get babies or juveniles started on eating crickets is, if you didn't think I'm psychotic, then you're probably gonna think this now, but you're gonna get a cricket with the tongs or with your fingers, you can rip the cricket's head off where you see the juice comes out, you know, like that tasty, that gravy. So when you have the, the cricket without the headless cricket, you're gonna put it towards the mouth of the gecko slowly because sometimes you can freak the gecko out. And for some reason, that scent or that smell of the cricket will trigger the, you'll see it in their eyes. It'll trigger the, uh, the gecko to see the cricket and want to eat it. Now, what I like to do is after I crush the head of the cricket and the juice is coming out, you put it towards, I kind of touch the mouth of the gecko a little bit and then pull away slowly. And sometimes when they lick that little juice, they will bite the cricket and then once that happens they're usually cricket crazy and wherever they see a cricket walking around they're gonna jack it up they're gonna eat it if it doesn't work the first time you can try doing that maybe the second or the third time but if you're shoving the cricket into the gecko's face most of the time that's gonna get the gecko to be scared and run away and then you also have some geckos that have an aggressive feeding response and will you know try to bite it right away but um, like I said I like to slowly just let the gecko taste it he's gonna you know flick his tongue taste the, the the juice and then usually it takes it here are a couple clips of me using that same technique to get some geckos that weren't eating crickets to get them started on crickets and hopefully after this i won't have to take the crickets head off anymore i can just throw the crickets in there and they'll get them by themselves this little gargoyle gecko was one that previously would be scared of the crickets when I threw them in its enclosure. As you could see, it took him a couple tries, but ultimately, he liked them. A gecko that is fed insects is going to generally grow twice or three times as fast as a gecko that is only raised on one of the diets. So that's why it's very important to include insects to their diet. And if they don't eat it, then you could use some of these tips to help you get your gecko started eating on insects 
Or you could also use the Rapashi Grub Pie, which is a gelatin that you mix with boiling water and it makes like a thick gel that sometimes when the geckos see that they go crazy for it and it's actually more nutritious than most insects out there. I hope you were able to find the information in this video useful. Give us a thumbs up in the video if you liked it. Subscribe and follow us on Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, and Twitter. You guys already know the deal. If you think this is useful, share it to your friends. You know, put it on your Facebook, whatever. Your word of mouth is what has helped us grow so much so far. And I always appreciate all the support. By the way, if you like the new merch, these new satanic leaf tail gecko shirts are available now on our website so click the link below to get yours today and we also have another design cooking so that will be out next week stay tuned for that one i'll see you guys next week Tasting the environment, you know, smelling. <laughs> Bear with me, people. Here are a couple clips of me using that same exact technique to get some crack. Uh. By putting that. Oh my God. Watch this and find out how to get them to eat their protein.